ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Ladies and gentlemen, join hands together and show some love for my friend all the way from Arusha. This is Mr. Beneficial! Come at a final amana. Mediao, who's the winky curriculum? Mimi. I won't you up, Sasa uwizi wa vitambaa paka kwenye kichwa unatoka wapi? <laughs> Matatizo. Ebu pigia hiyo nyimbo. Actually the song inasema I'm a classic man. Actually say I'm a classic man. Ngoja ngoja ngoja. Kavani subiri basi. I'm a sema I'm a classic man. Sasa wewe msichana unaongea nini hapo? Ngoja. Kwa sababu hapa Kuna kitu kimesema kama woman hapo. I'm a classic man. Na wewe msichana tena kwa hisia I'm a classic man. You have to be serious, but I'm telling you. Classic men ni lazima kwanza awe na hela. Sema hela. You have to have money. Umesikia hiyo nyimbo vizuri? Anakwambia even if she goes away. Ndumu nyela achwi. And I'm telling you watu wenye hela ni watu ambao wana shortest sweetest romantic conversation ever <laughs> ladies ladies kweli uongo this is very serious <laughs> guys i'm serious here i'm in a work mnacheka nini wanaume ambao wana pesa kwanza msichana anamfata Anataka kuomba mtaji. Unajua? Very short and very sweet. Baby, please, nilikuwa nataka nianzisha biashara yangu ambe. The answer is very short and clear. Okay. Pija maisabu, tantumia budget intatuma. Anaondoka. That lady, ataondoka pale. Uwe utuongea maneno wako, lakini yale maneno ya ataka kichwani wiki tatu zote. Tena ukitaka kujua wewe mwambie msichana tu nitakupa hela utatafutwa kama hata kama hakutafutagi <laughs> Kutana na wanaume ambao hawana hela <laughs> Wanaume ambao hawana hela ni washauri kuliko kitu chochote <laughs> This is serious If the same situation inatokea anafatwa Eh baby nilikuwa na... kwanza hawatuliagi wanakaa tu wanahangaika kaika tu <laughs> Eh ulikuwa unasemaje? Bebe nilikuwa nilikuwa nataka unisaidie mtaji. Anasema ah ah biashara iko hivyo. Biashara ianze hivyo. Umeshoma umesoma kitabu cha mengi wewe? Mengi alianza chini. Chini karanga, karanga unaweza karanga, ushai kuza karanga? Kaanza kwenye karanga. Kitabu chake kinasema you can, you will, you must. Kasome. Kasome kitabu. Eh sasa E una 2000 hapo ya boda boda ni mito na mama. <laughs> Kibuti. <laughs> Alafu naongea haya na kuna wanaume wanacheka. Hivi mnacheka nini wanaume? Hivi <laughs> unajua kama hauna hela. Na ninashangaa. Badala ya watu kufanya kazi wanahangaika hangaika. Wanaume sasa hivi paka mnaingia kwenye status za WhatsApp. Hivi unapata muda kutuma kuandika vitu kwenye status ya WhatsApp mwanaume. Eti mwanaume mzima anaandika iko siku nitatoboa. Utamtoboa nani? Wewe <laughs> utamtoboa nani? Kafanya kazi. Mwingine tena andika riziki mafungu saba. Umesoma Biblia kwa maliza mafungu wewe. <laughs> This is very serious. Na ninawaambia wanaume kwa hali ya taifa letu ilivyo sasa hivi hapa. Huko tunapoelekea ni I'm telling you, sidhani kama tutakuwa na wasichana. Kwa sababu serikali inajaribu kuingiza kipato kwa hali yoyote ile. Na wataanzisha TRA. Actually I'm talking about Tanzania Relationship Authority. <laughs> Mtakuwa kodi ya mapato ya mahusiano na wanaume ndio watakao walipe. Sasa hebu jiulize, mwangalie mpenzi wako ule naye karibu hapo. Je, angeweza kukulipia kodi? <laughs> Kama hela ya salunu unazungushwa. <laughs> kodi utafanywaje? <laughs> And this is serious. Na nawaambia hichi kitu kitakwenda kutokea na ubaya wa kodi mtu unapolipa kodi unajua kuna wale watu ambao wanakupa kodi 
utakuwa mlipi na unajua swala la kodi unakujaga wale watu wanavaluate okay mpenzi lazima mpenzi wako akaguliwe yukoje uzuri kiasi gani uzuri wake ndivyo ambao kodi yako inavyokuwa kubwa ehe okay huyu ni kama kwa mwezi milioni mbili mwezi milioni mbili evaluation sasa unapokwenda kunibikiza madeni unajua kinachofuata kwa sababu sheria ni msomeno lazima apigwe mnada <laughs> sasa imagine mpenzi wako umeshindwa kumlipia kodi yuko pale e, kwa mara ya kwanza <laughs> kwa mara ya pili e, kule kwa mara ya tatu kibao kinasoma e, sasa sasa hiyo daktari shika ananyosha mkono e. <laughs> anamchukua mpenzi wako daktari shika achukue mpenzi wako kisa kutokulipa kodi you have to be serious and i'm telling you ili swala la kulipa kodi kuna watu watasalimika yani kama kuna makabila ambayo yatasalimika hivi kama hivi mchaga mchaga eti hivi mtu kama mchaga unasema eti mzee uliki mzee uliki hujalipa mjamlipia mke wako kama e, miezi kumi. kwa sababu hivi mwanangu wewe ndio wale wanafuata wale wanakusanyaga kodi hivi mwanangu yuko hapo ndani mchukue ni kitu gani homes jupe sasa hivi mchukue huyu hapo ndani Alafu wanatukua advantage wanaweza kukuita. Akamwambia kama mwanangu jo, jo tuongee kitu msingi. Hii ni kweli. Mimi najua yule ni kama ni kitu kama mnandai la, milioni nane. lakini yule kitu ni kama milioni 12. Pasu kwa pasu. Mkipiga mnada, pasu kwa pasu. Mchukue ganchi yenu na mia kwa tena huu mnada. Unaona pale kwa mzee Kimario, pale kwa mzee Kimario ndo mnada unaenda vizuri. It could be very serious. But mimi kitu ambacho kinaniuma na ninawaambia mpaka sasa hivi you guys hivi mmeshawahi kuimagine watu ambao hawana hela it's very easy to know them ushai 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 kufika mahali ambapo unakutana na mtu ambaye wana kama wa Tanzania watu wanakopeshwa kukopeshana hii wazungu wako very straight one call ina, inachukuliwa na mtu anapokea anaongea anapiga simu this is john and i'm called jackson hey jackson may you lend me 25 dollars ah uh, okay yeah i'll yeah i'll pay you next week okay i'm going to send you your account I'll, i'll send you the money very easy kutana na ukopishaji wa tanzania simu inaita kutoka tegeta paka tabata <laughs> akipokea unasema oh asante bwana eh hey, afu wako straight Eh eh e, Johni ah I say Johni <laughs> Zamda Zamda mrefu familia inaendeleaje Mama hivi wale watoto wanasoma bado Ah wa, wako chuo Ah nasari sawa sawa Eh Aya Hakuna shida sasa Okay sasa sikiliza nikwambie kitu Ah sasa kwenye kwenye kutaka kuomba okay sasa Eh nilikuwa na shida kama laki mbili hapo kwanza kuna kuaga na point of no reply yani mna mtu anaku reply kwa muda kwanza sema ah, sasa ungenifuata juzi <laughs> juzi nilikuwa na hela sema hapa mama anaumwa surua ndo nimempeleka hospitali watoto wanaumwa hauwezi amini kifaduru kinawasumbua mpaka nafikia tu wewe ndo unamkopesha <laughs> but kitu ambacho mimi nakiangalia sasa hivi kwa makini kabisa unajua kweli kuna kipindi cha majonzi kipindi cha misiba lakini unajua kuna utofauti wa misiba msiba wa matajiri hauwezi kujua hata kwanza nani amekufa people are crying very gently yani kwanza okay mpaka ukifika pale sehemu ambapo watu watu wana wana wana, wana ndo wanataka kwenda kuhudhuria kwenye msiba okay na 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 na, 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 na pale ah si yule yule mshati nyekundu mshati nyekundu hapa usiye yule mwenye mwani endo kafiwa ndamfiwa ah kweli eh hey. watu kwanza wimbo zinazopigwa taratibu mtu akimwangalia mzazi wake oh thank you mate. anaondoka kutana na misiba ya watu ambao ni maskini i'm not joking actually i know it's, it's bad but naomba ukweli hichi kitu nimekiona Unajua watu ambao hawana hela wanawazaga sio kwanza kwamba wanalia uchungu tu kuna mambo mawili bajeti ya msiba 
kwanza akiwaza kwanza umati wa watu uliokuja akiangalia mchele pale alafu watu alafu unaweza kukuta amekaa tu hivi analia namna hii you guys don't see me there see, me this chair. unakuta amekaa namna hii analia na una, wale wana wanampozaga <laughs> Mapole mama na asante usijali. Hapo hajafungua macho akaona watu waliokuja. Daftari la mbili nalo. Daftari la mbili ambi. Sawa. Unajua na misiba is not <laughs> Nyamna nadhani watu wanalia tu kwenye misiba ni basi. They have problems. Mtu anawaza nitalisha hao watu shingapi. Alafu mimi nawaambia I have a friend of mine. This is a very true story. I have a friend of mine. Anape, unajua, unajua tu ukionaga misiba anatumia fursa. Wanataka afika yani msiba wote yetu akifika. Msiba wote ule. Yeye yeah, akifika. Yeye yeah, hata kama hujui ili mradi apate chakula anaingia tu pale. Ataanzisha kilio uwezi amini. Jamani ametutoka jamani huyu. And alikuwa ni msiba kwa jirani na ni mzungu. Jirani yetu ni mzungu. Ya. Sekande jamani alikuwa rafiki yangu sana huyu. Alikuwa rafiki yangu. Darasani nikikaa mbele kaka nyuma. Yuko na mimi nikiingia bafuni yuko chooni huyu. Sasa tuna mimi kamweza what's the problem why are you crying muna unapiga kelele hapo unajua kama ni msiba si msiba ni kama mbia cha ujinga wewe huyu mzungu kafiwa na mbwa wake unapiga makelele ya nini ladies and gentlemen makofi mengine kwa beneficial unajua mziki wa mziki wa sasa ionge eh eh mziki wa sasa hivi ya somewhere mziki zamani Zamani mtu alikuwa naimba. Sawa? Na inaleta maana. Lakini mimi naona Jackin mengi alijitabiria. Na yule ni nabii. Jackin mengi. Akasema nikipata wangu. Wadada, 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 wadada acheni unafiki. Coming up after the break. Shout out sana kwa wewe yule ambaye umetoka nyumbani umekuja kupanda lift umefuata ujinga huko juu. Bro mbona uchegi tumeko sana? 